Hey, welcome to the very latest production line developer video blog thing. I would like to pretend to you that this is the last time I start uh, any kind of um, YouTube thing saying, don't I look orange? Isn't something wrong? <laughs> it's funny because I, I laugh massively at Donald Trump's thing about new light bulbs make me look orange, um, which I think is like pathetic. Um, but I do not have a spray tan. I don't know what goes on. It's some combination of lights, and I have a, I have huge um, admiration for these people who do uh, like loads and loads of YouTube videos, and they have this perfectly set up system, um, and not like some jury rig nonsense like I've got where I think where did I put this light last time, um, and and the whole thing is kind of ridiculous. Like like what you know I don't know. Um, it's, it's crazy. Anyway, look, enough nonsense. I am uh, Cliff. I'm the, the programmer of this game, um, uh, production line and designer of this game. You know this. It's not like we're attracting loads of new viewers, is it? Um, maybe we should be. Look at the detail. Look! The little animated people with um, like little bottles of liquid, um, which somehow make cars work. This is production line, car factory game. It's fantastic. Um, anyway, I am on the verge of releasing two things for this game. One is the latest update for the game, um, which is the 80th update, it will be version 1.80. Uh, and um, the other is we have new DLC on the way. And I've been stupidly busy, so I can't remember what I've talked about and what I haven't. But we're doing new, uh, a new expansion pack for the game, which adds new varieties of um, all of the different cards, uh, which I will show you in a minute in a different save game because um, I've also improved the tutorial um, because I have not um, unlocked them all on this yet um, but there will be new things like look at this compact design variant 2 off-road design variant 2 um, sedan design variant 2. I'll show you all this stuff in a bit um, but before I do that I'm going to go through um, all, the, all of the little updates we've done um, for for uh, build 1.8, that would be exciting. <laughs> okay, um, so fix bug where graphics are VA. And if you have a massive monitor, bigger resolution than 4096, I fix something. But that's like, that's me and like 10 other people. Um, so yeah, these search bars now have a drop down list, right? So if I'm in here and I start typing um, like fit something look it builds this um, so I don't have to type fit electrical components I can then just click on it boom or I could do um, fit um, fit e fit uh, you know engine and it jump to that um, that's more work than you think um, actually um, because theoretically if I type elect look you know it will search on every word anyway big deal I know that like Windows is apps have had this for a long time but I have to actually code it <laughs> um, and it will be the same um, um, oh yes enough of the tutorials and oh sorry that won't be uh, what would be a thing spoiler spoiler alert to get it spoiler alert anyway. Um, yeah, so that's a new thing. It's a usability thing. Um, it allows um, allows you to have a really big, complicated game. It allows you to have a lot of mod support um, because it, it gets a point where there's a lot of content in the game anyway, and um, you know mods can add a, a, a stupid amount of content, um, and, and it's a lot easier with that sort of search. We got that in. A uh, new button on the showroom screen. Oh yeah, yeah, right. So here, right? Not here, fool here um, th this is a view of um, the cars I'm currently selling it's a, it's a stupid cross-section of cars okay um, because I was testing something um, but you can now switch to this view Then I look toggle 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 um, which isn't particularly helpful here it shows I've got six of these one of these one of these um, when you've got like 300 cars in the showroom um, it's a lot more helpful to give you um, without doing a load of scrolling now if you hover over one it will say in showroom one like in showroom six, um, but I think this is the, this is more helpful view for like the late game. Um, if you if you go into this showroom screen and you've already got like a hundred cars in the showroom, it will default to that view. You can always toggle it back. Um, so it's just again, it's like late game stuff that makes 
um, the kind of like usability better. Uh, so there's that. Fixed wrong display of points per minute on the R and D screen for designs. Yeah, then we were just this number was occasionally that number was wrong under certain circumstances. It's right now. This number here, look, you see up here the battery indicator up there, up there, up at the top right. Occasionally, look, will show you 102 percent, um, etc. It used to like just go up to 100 percent, and then if it, if you were producing twice as much power as you were using, you'd never know it. Now it will actually tell you that you've gone over it. Um, yeah, this is the kind of bug that you have to fix if you're a game developer. Listen to this. This is classic. Um, fixed bug where if you changed a floor tile using the factory decoration several times, then removed a slot, only the first change is remembered. <laughs> so um, a lot of people don't really realise you can do this because uh, we don't make a big deal out of it. Um, if you go to factory decoration and uh, we could pick anything, let's pick this. We say, well, this area here. Um, that we're doing a certain subsection of stuff, so I want to do that. And then if you changed your mind and said, actually, I don't like the look of that, let's make it this colour. And then you deleted something, so you moved it, like this. It would get the, the, the colour that it put there, it would get that wrong. Um, and it doesn't anymore. So yay! I'm sure loads of you spotted that. Literally nobody spotted that. I, I spotted that. Anyway. I think I might be wrong. If you did spot that, um, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so we did that. Uh, mods can now include scenarios in the... Yeah, you can, so you can, add the, uh, you can do your own scenarios for the game. You can mod scenarios for the game. I need support for multiple scenarios. That's just a user interface thing. Um, yeah, there were some bugs to do with manufacturing powertrains and um, stop-start engine. Um, upgrades, uh, they're all fixed. Um, yeah, there used to be a very occasional bug um, when you first started the game with the tutorial. You'd get an error saying, cannot find tutorial window. Uh, that's fixed. That was a stupid mistake of mine. Um, the initial tutorial is better. It used to show you how to build a few slots and then go, good luck. Um, whereas it now, it, it, it shows you laying down the whole initial production line. Um, which is only the very, very start of the game, as you'll know if you if you played it a lot. Wow, I'm not doing well here at all, am I? It's all gone a little bit wrong. Defects and breakdowns, it's all pretty bad. Um, and then uh, th there was an error that if you researched the manufacture of alloy wheels, you couldn't see the price of aluminium because uh, it didn't unlock that, that resource. If you're wondering where you'd see that anyway, it would be here. Um, there it is. Um, aluminium and also um, it would be here um, somewhere aluminium there it is um, so that was uh, there was a little bug there anyway right forget all that um, you know that's you know that's stuff let me just um, load in my latest test thing which might have errors or something I think I've unlocked everything this was a little test thing um, Right, so we've got we've got new DLC coming. I'm just going to show you what it looks like, um, what the new stuff looks like very briefly. Um, what this DLC is going to be, it's going to be new visual um, variants for every uh, er, for, for every um, car in the game, and it has absolutely no effect on gameplay whatsoever. It's just um, if you like different varieties of cars. Um, one of the things you'll find in a game is, for example, you'll make um, a particular car, let's say a sedan. I've given this one stupid witness, Goldwing Doors, which is from the other DLC, um, just because I was testing how they work. Long story. Um, let's give it normal doors. Or Sunday, whatever. Um, so what you would have is you would have a sedan. You'd have a cheap sedan, a uh, mid-range sedan, expensive sedan, luxury sedan. And what people ended up doing was making them different colours so you could tell which they were on, on the, the Kind of factory floor uh, and I did it as well because it made a lot of sense but the downside to that is like um, you don't get to see all the variety of colors on a car and it doesn't look as nice and also all of your sedans look the same so this is like this is the really expensive sedan and this is the budget sedan this is the mid-range sedan and this is um, you know the expensive sedan um, and they all look the same so 
you know, if you'd rather them look different, um, what we're doing is uh, is doing this DLC. It's not not all the artworks done yet. Um, that gives you um, a variant of each one, and they're not all done. But that is the sedan one. Dun, 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 dun. It's still a sedan look. Oh yes, it is. More boxy, more modern. Boxy modern. Boxy modern. Um, and it's funny because like. I was never really into cars um, until the last few years, and um, if you showed me a picture like that and then you showed me a picture like that 20 minutes later, I wouldn't be able to notice that they were different, right? Because they're just <laughs> they're kind of just cars, right? But there's a vast difference, and when you really get into cars, you notice that like some cars are really boxy and angular, like this sort of, sort of more of a like sort of 70s, 80s thing, and this is more of a kind of like 90s. Uh, noughties, whatever we call this current decade, um, where cars look more like kind of like sort of boiled sweets. Um, so they do, they, they, they do actually um, look very different. And an enormous amount of work goes into this, right? You might think, oh well, you've just like changed the shape of some things. Um, how does that involve a load of work? But all of these different variants, um, like, all have to be made to work with every uh, single car. So you have all that, and then all of the um, all of the seats have to be redone to fit into the, where things are. Um, you need new variants at the front there. Um, and then all of the different wheels that you might have on a car, um, you know, they all have to be repositioned because actually the length of the, the position of the wheels is very slightly different. The size of the wheels is very slightly different. Um, and obviously uh, it has to work in all directions and stuff like that. Um, and it also has to look right with this sort of polished look as opposed to not polished look um, so it's actually a lot of variation it's a huge amount of artwork I think it, I, I looked it up it was like 280 meg of art for each variant of each car so so that's 280 meg that's 280 meg it actually squashes down because I wrote a compression system um, that, that, that like compresses and packs and tile stuff um, so that it's vastly smaller than that, so you're not downloading gigabytes of stuff. Um, so that's the sedan, that's what we've done um, at the moment. Have I done the SUV? Yes, we've done the SUV, I remember now. It's much more kind of like, uh, looking. Um, pretty much everything gets seen with, with like polished paint, we'll do it in red. So SUV, SUV. It's like a modern SUV, more like a sort of crossover SUV. Um, it seems like SUVs now look more like armoured personnel carriers they used to they, they used to look just like a bit stretched and boxy and now they kind of look like Wah! get commandos in it it's kind of like that uh, so we've done that we've done the sedan we've done the compact -da -da. compact is the first car where some of the bits don't change colour I need to oh I need to fix that I've got the assets for that and I haven't put them in naughty cliff um, so this is like a really small car, like a sort of mini or a smart car, whereas that's kind of just like a small car, like uh, like my old car. Um, so um, yeah, and again, that's got all, got all, the, all the silly options. Where's um, and of course lights? The lights are different as well. You know, you have light options for everything, um, and, and you know you need to support all this kind of stuff, and uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, kind of cool. I quite like the orange. I quite like that. Um, so we haven't done the off-road yet. We haven't done... Um, have we done the sports car? We've done the sports car. Uh, so we haven't done the off-road. We haven't done the pickup. We haven't done the van. Um, the supercar won't get a variant because it, it is itself DLC. Um, but the sports car's got new variety. Um, that's it, in fact, isn't it? I get confused. That's the old sports car. In this case, with going doors. Um, and this is the new sports car. Um, if I take, if I put the doors away, stupid doors, butterfly doors, dana, open top, um, scissor, uh, normal doors. Um, let, let's let's look at it like that. Um, so this is the new, uh, and I'll oh, give it polished paintwork. Um, so this is the new sports car. That's the old sports car. Um, so the old sports car was more like um, one of these little two-seater ones, whereas the new one is kind of like probably, I mean it is a two-seater car, but it's more, it's kind of like more like my car um, in that it's a, like a big, big speedy thing um, rather than like a little 
um, often a convertible, I guess. If I go to the roof, uh, if I go to the roof, um, so that's the open top variant of that. I'm not sure, so much so sure that I like the open top variant of the new one, um, but what I do like is um, if we if we do that sort of thing, I like that. Right. Um, when you look at basic wheels on a car like this, it just looks wrong. It's like no, it must have aggressive looking wheels. Um, and actually, this was an enormous pain to do, right? Um, from a graphical point of view. Um, I'm sorry, I am just like blatantly just playing with the options. <laughs> but it's kind of cool. Because, um, yeah, I, I much prefer those sort of seats. Especially if you've got like a red or black. Um, other colours are available. Oh, by the way, you can mod in um, colours now. Hot pink is not a colour in the game. Uh, it's from a mod. Do you want that? You want a pink car? Why not? Um, you can have a pink car and gold wheels if you like. In fact, the tackiest imaginable is probably like gold wheels, a pink car and red seats. Um, and you just know that somewhere there's someone who's got that combination. <laughs> you know, someone has ordered that whilst drunk. Some billionaire has ordered a car like that and gone. That would be so amazing when they, you know, done a line of coke or something. And then it gets delivered. And they think, eek. Um, anyway, um, stupid looking car. Um, yeah, this was a nightmare, right? And the reason it was a nightmare is that the front doors are gull wing. By the way, if you do have the doors that go like this expansion, and um, you will notice you can't do this. You can't do this yet. No, it is being um, added um, in this um, update. Um, because gull wing doors never used to be an option on the sports car. They were an option, but it didn't work. So it was kind of like hidden and, and, and uh, no one could use it, right? Uh, and the reason for that is it was hell on earth to get this to work. And the reason for that is it's the front doors here are gullwing. Now, if you look at the sedan, and um, I'm getting, I know I'm getting boring now. I know this is boring now. <laughs> what is it, Ruth? And if you look at the gullwing doors, they're the back. Now, you'd think that doesn't matter, Cliff. Oh my God, the amount of grief in the in the code to determine what's involved because. Um, you have to say, um, don't render these doors, render gullwing doors instead, unless you don't have these doors, in which case, render these doors. And it, and the thing is, you can't even say if it's um, um, if, if it's a certain car, because it could be the different variants of a different car um, open different doors. Um, now actually, that isn't the case, but I thought might as well support that. Um, so loads of stuff changes, um, depending on this. And to be honest, like looking at it, I think any sane programmer would have said, you know what, let's just not allow gullwing doors on the sports car. We've got them on the sedan uh, that's and the supercar. Um, it's a horrible colour for a supercar, isn't it? They should be pink, obviously. Um, let, let's not care. But I thought, you can't make a, a game about cars and luxury cars that doesn't have gullwing doors on a sports car because that is just like the ultimate <laughs> expression of stupidity, isn't it? All these doors are ridiculous. Um, but what I thought was really funny, I read a lot about the um, uh, like uh, car manufacturer and stuff like that, obviously. And um, I read a lot about um, uh, uh, Tesla, which is uh, a company that very famously has an SUV with gullwing doors at the moment. Kind of. It's an SUV that kind of looks like this. This could be like a Tesla Model X. Um, I know before you leave a comment, I know technically they're Falcon Wing doors and that's different and I know the difference, um, but you know what I mean. But anyway, if you re read about the making of that car, they say, oh my God, it was a nightmare. Uh, Falcon Wing doors, absolute hell on earth to manufacture, to design and to get them to work reliably. Um, uh, with the real car and I also know people that have got them and say they're actually a real pain and the thing is they were such a pain to put in the game and it's just like um, it's like art imitating life um, the, the, the wrong way around um, where it's just something that is technically really hard to manufacture in the real world it was actually a real pain in the ass to put into a video game anyway variants of cars are coming that's enough Christ I never know when to shut up Right, this is uh, version 1.80 of the game is coming with loads of cool usability stuff um, and also um, we're doing an expansion pack which adds, um, look, look, look at the, the excitement, you could do this all day, look, 
Um, so DLC coming quite soon. It's pretty much waiting on our, our assets now, um, as the rest of it is um, is kind of done. This is production line by Positech Games. Um, yes, we're still working on it. Yes, we're still improving little things. Um, if you've got bugs, let us know. We, we're always looking into them and stuff like that. Um, I am doing a little bit of work on Democracy Three, uh, Democracy Four, um, but uh, but I'm still obviously still um, loving working on this and improving stuff like this. Maybe that could be even more polished. I don't know because um, this is great fun. Anyway, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe and stuff like that. Uh, and you can get the game on Steam, you can buy it direct, you know, all this kind of stuff. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, uh, leave them below because I do actually read them and I'm the designer and programmer. So it's not like some random community manager that's going to read them and say, I'll tell the dev team. And then the dev team just, no, um, it's actually me. I write all the code um, and do all the designs. So if you've got a comment, um, let me know and it goes straight to the right person. What a horrible combination. Thank you for watching and I shall see you at some point. Goodbye.